excellencies, ladies and uh, gentlemen, and uh, dearest, dearest colleagues. A very, very good morning to uh, all of you today, and thank you so much for joining us here at um, this year's uh, Cybercation and uh, the Nordic Baltic uh, Cyber Battle here uh, in the 2024 culture capital, Tartu, which is uh, especially nice. And thank you, uh, Annette, for the very, very kind uh, introduction. Uh, you did mention that uh, I addressed you uh, one year ago, which is, uh, which is correct. And when I did so, I called out to all of you, to all of us, to up our game uh, on our work on cyber security. Now the question is, did we up our game? Did you up your game? Did I? I hope and I expect that by attending this event today, you have all made the very, very conscious decision as individuals, as government representatives, representatives of think tanks, academia, private sector, perhaps you're a teacher, to intensify your efforts uh, for a more ethical and safe uh, cyber environment. And, you know, what, what we do might feel like a drop in the ocean, a small, tiny contribution, but then, as we all know, those many, many drops and many, many small contributions will eventually make up that ocean. Today, I still see three quite major challenges um, that I would like to that I would like to mention. We see huge geopolitical challenges. They are near. They're far away. They result in uh, hybrid uh, warfare. They result in uh, attacks on banking systems. They result in media attacks, the health sector, and as you know, really aiming at interrupting governance and private sector operations. We see a lot of more sort of classical crimes. We see that um, we see a lot of data theft uh, from um, companies, from individuals, business interruptions. We see ransomware attacks um, happening over the phone, over email, and um, it's, w when you look at some statistics, the statistics that we find seem to suggest that the challenges are not just here and around us, but they're actually growing. And our very good partner, uh, right here next door in the, in the cyber battle, that is uh, Telia, uh, have been describing to us that they are... Um, they are actually blocking between one and 200,000 attacks, phone attacks, in Estonia every week. Now, play around with those numbers a little bit, and that tells you something. And that's just, I mean, it's a big company, but it's just one. So, you know, multiply that with governments and the rest of the private sector and, and everything else in our, in our society. So these, uh, these cyber attacks is, is our big challenge. The other challenge is a skills uh, shortage. We know it's large, we know it's growing. We're not just struggling to, to attract individuals to, to work on these uh, matters, but we're also struggling to keep up with developments. Uh, those who wish to harm us are clever and they're fast, and it's really hard to keep up. A third challenge that I see is related to artificial int intelligence. An incredible opportunity, right? I mean, like, like, um, like all innovations, but it does involve risks. It is being misused and it can be misused. 
As we all know, these challenges are not respecting borders. Um, in fact, we're in this boat together. And if we're going to get somewhere, we're going to have to do it jointly. From the side of the Nordic Council of Ministers, I'd like to mention three things that we are doing uh, to up our game, uh, three things that we try to do as a, as a contribution. One of the things that I'd like to highlight is uh, the Nordic Council of Ministers um, for Digitalization. Uh, I know that some of you have, have been engaging uh, in this. This is actually the only one of our councils where the Nordic and the Baltic countries are all represented and represented on equal terms. I believe that that joint ownership being represented and, and owning a fora on equal terms is key to its success. We know that uh, Estonia has developed thick and fast over the last 30 years. And um, today, Estonia is really the, the leading lady when it comes to digitalization and digi solutions. Estonia is also um, very prominent on issues related to tech startups, this very agile way that you can start companies, you know, click, 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 and you start a, you start a company. Um, we're seeing uh, cybersecurity is, is a great strength in, in Estonia. Um, the education sector, by the way, look at the PISA scores at the moment. This country is doing something right. And um, what I'm trying to say here is that Estonia can really contribute and Estonia can really offer knowledge and inspiration to the Nordic countries. The Nordic countries can offer uh, knowledge as well in areas where they are strong, but this is exactly it. This makes a relevant uh, cooperation. The other thing I'd like to, to bring up is the Nordic Baltic Cyber Skills uh, think, tank, th think Tank and the Cyber Bridge Forum. Uh, some of it, its members are, are, are here today. Um, and uh, we will be hearing uh, a little more about that later today. It's the first of its kind. It's a forum that brings uh, together experts and resources from all uh, eight countries, Nordic, Baltic countries. And they are really working to close the skills gap um, and to build digital uh, resilience. Last, I would like to mention uh, the very, very vision um, of my office, uh, something that is not just close to our hearts, but is at the very, very core of our vision. And that is um, for a cooperation to be relevant, it needs to be a win-win. There needs to be mutual interest. There needs to be contribu contributions from all sides. And I just, I just mentioned some of Estonia's strengths. We know that Latvia and Lithuania have a lot of strengths as well, although I'm, I'm here on behalf of our office in, in Estonia. And again, Estonia can offer a lot in this partnership, and so can the Nordics. That's what makes it relevant. It's not a one-side uh, contribution. There's not one recipient and one provider. It goes both ways. It's win-win and it's relevant. That makes it sustainable. Uh, and within that picture, uh, it's, also it's, it's also important to remember that the five Nordic governments have never before been so vocal about prioritizing Nordic-Baltic cooperation as they are today. And that's a great momentum that we should nurture. I believe this area that we're here to talk about today is one of the key ones, one of the most relevant ones for, for our cooperation. I'm going to uh, give this floor to um, other individuals and, and experts um, soon through our excellent moderator, uh, Annette. And um, I'm here to welcome you, but soon you will actually be listening to those who really know this stuff. Um, and that's, um, that's the key takeaway from, from today. Uh, but thank you very much, uh, CTF Tech, uh, Telia, 
and perhaps uh, above all, my own team, who's also uh, with us here today. Uh, it's been a great, uh, great contribution from, from all of you. And for all the participants, we are all here to, to meet you and to tell you about our work and uh, see what, uh, what future cooperation we can, uh, we can bring together. So thank you everyone and uh, have a great day. And also don't forget to visit the battle. It's actually great fun as well. So do take the, do take the opportunity. Thanks very much.